Oh man, it's so cool. So we got this thing called the Clear Click Video 2 Digital 2.0. And it's awesome. We took this analog signal from one of Carrie's old hi aid to camcorders. We plug it into this little recording device and it converts it into a digital signal. We're watching Carrie's old videotapes now. Can you see that? So you just plug in the analog signal into there, put in an SD card, hit record, and it converts it. Freaking awesome. It's one of those things that if you have a lot of analog, you know, VHS tapes, hi eights or whatever, you want to convert it to digital before it goes bad. Carrie, are you excited about this? Yeah. Also, Carrie's birthday is tomorrow. Actually, in an hour and a half. In an hour and a half, it's going to be Carrie's birthday. So. I'm staying up late so I can get foot rubs. Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> Chicky, it's not your birthday. Not yours. <laughs> nice try. This is the best birthday morning ever. Yeah. This is doggy cuddles. Are you doing a good job giving some birthday cuddles? This is pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. So it goes on like this. So now I officially have a computer of my own because I didn't have one of my own. How do I make it the, the thingy stand? Say oh, whoa. Yours folds all the way open like that? Oh, it magnetizes right there. Like that. Now, I know today's Carrie's birthday and she's supposed to be the one getting all the gifts, but I got some goodies too. Okay, I can't bear watching her get gifts and me not have anything. This is something that my buddies over from Think Tank just sent me and I think they're just launching it on Kickstarter today. Yeah. I think we're planning on going to the beach today, so this might actually help us out a little bit. Let's take a look at what we have. <laughs> What's cool about Think Tank is that you can really beat the crap out of their bags and I know from experience. You fit a ton of crap in here. A slightly smaller size here. Thanks Think Tank for these bags. I'm gonna Go ahead and start using them right now. This is our first time that we're actually gonna go on the beach and like hang out for I a while. I think so, yeah. We've been here for a month already and this is our first time actually going onto the beach. We've been so busy, we haven't had a chance to do it yet. First step on the beach. This bag's actually really nice. We put everything in here and I think we're just gonna make this one our beach bag. A volleyball, we're gonna get a Frisbee. Keep some sunscreen in there permanently. Yeah, that's a good idea. But it'd be cool, we'll just keep this filled with like beach stuff. So every time we wanna come out here, we just grab it. We have everything we need. Yeah. And in case some kid runs by and want to make sure that the sand doesn't get into this bag, it does have a top somewhere in here. Oh, it's in here, right there. Comes out like that. He's heading over to Arizona to do a shoot. It's about a five, six hour drive. You get there and then you're gonna shoot for what, straight 10 hours and then? Something like that. Those are the best shoots is you start working right after you get there. <laughs> you excited to go to Arizona? I am not. This is a little surprise package from PGY Tech. It looks kind of fancy. This is their carrying case for the Mavic 2 Air as well as some accessories. All right, so we got our drone, extra large controller, two batteries, fit in like this, chargers, cables, and you have a battery charging hub that fits in right here. Oh, but this is what I've been needing, some ND filters for the Mavic 2 Air. It's kind of an interesting case. The lid is magnetic and it could also be stored underneath. Will this also fit in here? I can see this being useful. The landing gear I could definitely see being useful if you take off on a lot of dirt or grass or uneven terrain. This is a tablet holder. It's definitely a lot nicer flying with a tablet than a little phone. I'm gonna have to test this out later, but thank you PGY Tech for hooking it up. All right, so this is a gift from, I think the company's called Hex. This is called the Backloader Backpack. And I got a couple of backpacks that I regularly use, but I've been looking for a nice small one. Obviously there's the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Backpack. This is what I consider to be like the, the Bentley or Rolls Royce of backpacks. It's a really nice bag, very cool. I love the design of it, how much it fits. Peter did an awesome job designing this backpack. I also have this Think Tank backpack. I think it's the Urban Axis 15. And this, I like how lightweight it is, but they're both much larger larger bags designed to fit a lot more. But if I'm just hanging out around town and I just literally want to bring one camera and maybe one spare lens or something, I want like a nice small bag. So I'm definitely excited to check this one out. Laptop goes into here, little accessory pouch here, load in from the back. But I've been looking for something like this so I can just have something super lightweight to kind of bike around town with. There's no waist strap, so I probably wouldn't use it to lug around heavy, heavy gear. But just going around town, I think this might be a pretty cool setup. It's got top access right there. But for just kind of like an everyday cruising around bag, this might be a really cool option for that. You can find them at Hex Brand on Instagram. Appreciate it, guys. 
Now this is our new bike rack that I'm excited about. Like this new neighborhood we live in, it's so easy to get around on our electric bikes. So honestly, that's kind of become our main mode of transportation, which is awesome. But this bike rack my buddy Jonathan has and he puts a Super 73s on there, so I'm getting the same one. Because when we start traveling again, I really want to just be able to bring our e-bikes with us and cruise around and explore towns that way. Because it really is a fun way to explore new neighborhoods. This is from Amazon, so I must have purchased this and just totally forgot what I bought. Actually, I've been waiting for this. Duvetine. I'm gonna need this to black out all the windows in my studio. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Door stopper. Carrie, this must be your package here. Are you excited about this? Yes. How perfect was that timing, though? That door slam closed? I'm gonna pop these open and use it right now. Honestly, I'm still shocked by the fact that we just leave all our doors open and we don't have to run AC because the weather here is so good. Like, I, this is a dream. Ooh, bungee dog leashes. I wanna be able to attach it to my belt and hook the dogs up so I could go jogging hands-free and have all the dogs with us. This is a cup holder for this cart. There's a whole video on the main channel coming about this cart. So that's why I've kind of not talked about it, but this thing is awesome. And it has a cup holder. We have been on a shopping spree, my gosh. Oh, this is just a pencil drawer. Right now I'm loving my long extended desk, but there's no drawers and I just want a spot to put all my little things. Organization is one of the big things that I've been working on. Are there any YouTubers that I should watch that help me kind of clear my head a little bit. My life is just a clutter mess. Let me know. Anyways, I think we're gonna go out for a little ride, so I'm going to put you inside of this bag. Come on in. Is it a nice ride? Yeah. That's what Carrie's riding, and that's what I'm riding. Video about that coming soon. Pretty cool that we get to come here all the time, huh? This bungee leash, though? Game changer, huh? It's awesome. So I just try to install this little pencil drawer thing, realize it actually won't fit on my desk. There's this rail that goes all the way through so there's no space. And I would return it, but I wasn't very graceful unboxing it yesterday. Oh gosh, I'm an idiot. So I kind of have to figure out what to do with this thing. Also, look at this chair that I'm using. That thing, uh-uh, it's a piece of crap, my butt hurts. So a few vlogs back, I asked you guys for some suggestions. Ivan says I would recommend a Herman Miller Aeron that I'm using at my office and recently bought for home. Amazing chair, literally every Herman Miller chair. Marcus says a Herman Miller, beware it's gonna cost at least $1,200. Everybody is saying Herman Miller. Authentic says best chair is the Concord from Global Furniture. Okay, finally someone that suggests something that's not a Herman Miller and it is more expensive, $1,800. <laughs> Dude, I bet that chair is so freaking comfortable. Oh my gosh. Tommy Calloway says, awesome chair recommendation, Herman Miller. Everyone is saying this is the chair to get. Oh gosh. Oh, dang, look at the 1500 bucks for a chair. Man, this better be the sh**. I need to get Carrie's approval on this. So my chair, I need to get a new one. Everyone mm. says this one's the one to get. Aaron? Aaron? Hey, a Aaron? <laughs> I don't see any prices next to all these fancy photos. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on, I sit in this all the time. Okay? Well, Your Tesla chair, you only sit in once in a while and it's got all this fancy stuff in it. 12 year warrant, 12 year. Whoa, for a second I thought that said 12 month. It's 12 year warranty. I think it's supposed to be good for your back and stuff and there's different sizes depending on how tall you are and okay. your weight. So I would just be a medium. I've been using this chair for two years. This, thing, this chair literally cost me $20. Now I must upgrade to a $1,600 chair. Okay, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on this chair. So, you know, I need- That uh, is true. Yeah, this so. would be good for my back. See, you know how much a chiropractor costs? I don't know, but probably a lot. So see, this is just being smart. Like you say, like an ounce of prevention is like a pound of something else. I don't know. You're not even gonna try to see if there's a used one? What if someone bought it and then pooped in it and then they're like trying to sell it? Poop washes out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, they won't ship till July 29th? Look. Three, Look at that. 350, Herman Miller Aaron chair. I don't know how old these are though. I am kind of tempted because this one, it says it's not gonna ship till July 29th. 
that's over a month from now, just before it even ships. Yeah, mm, eh, mm. this one's renewed. I that's think it's gonna ship a little bit sooner. Brand new, never been sat on for seven hundred dollars. All right, so we're gonna message this person, see if we can get it for seven hundred bucks. That would be cool. And hopefully the next vlog is I got a new chair. <laughs> seven hundred dollars for a fairly new one. Okay, I might take that. I'm are cool. There, are there fakes? Are there Herman Miller fakes out there? I don't. There? Ooh, what if it's a counterfeit? How to spot a fake Herman Miller? I like how this vlog is about your birthday and it's just me getting a bunch of stuff. While we're reading comments, let's see what you guys had to say from the last video. Matthew says, don't forget a dual hose AC. The single hose units take more air out of the room than they put in. So the air pressure is negative, meaning it pulls hot air in from the outside. Beyond not being able to cool a room, they're insanely inefficient. If you get a dual hose unit, it cools the air that it takes from the outside through the second hose rather than from in the room. It cools the room much faster and the temperature remains cool because you're not pulling in extra air from the outside. That actually makes a lot of sense. And you save on energy. I spent way too long learning about AC units when buying mine. Make sure you get a dual hose option. They're worth every penny. Ugh! I wish this comment came a little bit sooner. So I got a single hose one right there. But this would be a good comment for everybody watching so people don't make the same mistake I did. Was there something missing at the end? It just ended while you were talking. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how I've been ending these videos.